welcome to modular classroom today in this video we will see one of the useful concept available in ms word that is how to use formulas inside the tables in ms word as we know in word document we can use tables that is data that has been entered in rows and columns like excel but like excel we can't apply formula very easily but there is an option available in ms work to use the formulas in this video we will see how to use it so let's start by creating a simple test table for that go to insert choose the tables and you can choose how many rows and columns you need now the table is being created here you add the first values in the table for example <coughs> simple calculation i will do and show you now here you are entering value 10 here you are entering value 25 if you need to add this 20 10 and 25 to do this you just go to the last cell in this column and click on the layout tab in the ribbon and then click on the formula at the far right that is you have to keep your cursor in the last column go to layout click on this formula now you can able to see the formula command that is found in the table tools in the layout tab at under the data group this will bring you the formula dialog box with a default formula like equal to sum of left like excel a formula starts with an equal sign so left means here it shows left it means all the cells that are to the left of the cell in which you are going to enter the formula so now after you are clicking ok the value will be added that has been summed up and will be displayed in this last cell I am clicking OK. Now see 35. Automatically the value entered as 35. You can also use to write above, below. Anything you can use in this uh, formula that is a positional notation. This left is called as a positional notation. Likewise left, right, above, below you can use any positional notation. Apart from this, this positional argument formula can be applied to other functions like count, max, min, average or etc. Like this, these are the other functions that are available in this formula dialog box under the option paste function. In this paste function, you can list out all of the functions that can be used in the word formula. Okay, now we have entered a formula. You have uh, added uh, one value. Now we are going to enter the second value and here if you want to add this column now we have first we saw in the demo to add the, to the right that is row wise we have added and if now if you want to add to the column wise means just click on the cell and choose a formula again by default the argument positional notation will be above just click ok answer will be 30. Likewise, you can able to apply the formulas in this MS Word. For example, if you are doing a calculation for your internal marks, if as a teacher want to prepare the mark sheet and to, and to submit the internal marks or some model exam mark, they can able to easily create in this MS Word. So this is one of the examples that I have created. So three subjects mark with, I can able to easily find the total and I can able to <coughs> easily find the average. How come this average is being calculated is with this formula. I have applied the formula over here. The formula is average of left. So this average from the 91 I have found out this average. Likewise if any mistakes I have done in my ent uh, data entry. If I need to update this answer, for example, this total is 24 plus 45 plus 30. I need to update means just select only this date value and right click and choose update field. It will be, total will be changed to 99. Likewise, average, you just update the field. 
average will also be updated be careful you should not select the whole cell like this you should not select the whole cell you just select only the data and just right click and choose update field so that the values will be updated if you do any changes in your data so this is one of the very useful feature that is to do calculations in tables available in ms word without shifting to excel for doing just simple calculations likewise here if i need to find who got the maximum mark i can able to find out with the help of max function just keep my cursor here and just formula i am and going here and instead of uh, sum i am typing max so max of above it will give me an answer 95 so, sorry 99 so 99 is the maximum mark in the total likewise i can able to perform the simple calculations with the available list of functions like max count min everything i can be used that is suited to my requirement thanks for watching stay tuned